Today we're going to be doing a teardown of MISTI 2 to show off our components and features. Starting at the top in MISTI's head, we have three far-field microphones which are capable of beamforming for things like voice recognition. Next, you'll find six capacitive touch panels. These allow Misty to know where on her head you're touching her. Four on the top of her head, one in her chin, and one in the carrying handle in the back. You could write a skill, for instance, to go limp or shout out when you pick her up. In her visor, we have the occipital depth sensor, which is used for mapping and navigation, and a 4K camera that's used for computer vision and things like face or object recognition. Under her visor is a 4.3 inch color LCD which displays her eyes or really any other data you'd like. And finally we have a flashlight and an indicator LED on the right side of her head and on the left side is a magnetically attached head panel where you could add your own accessory, like a Pico projector. Moving to her neck, we have three degrees of freedom, up and down or pitch, side to side or yaw, and tilt which we call roll to show when she's curious. On her back, we have a magnetic backpack that reveals Misty's serial and USB expansion ports. Both arms easily come off with one screw so you can add your own arms. Check out our hardware expandability video to learn more. On the front of her, we have a high fidelity speaker system which includes a bass port for deeper sound. Also under the speakers, we have an emotive full color RGB LED. Finally, down to the base, we have six bump sensors. The holes in the case are for three time-of-flight sensors in the front for measuring the distance to objects, one time-of-flight sensor in the back, and then four time-of-flight sensors in each corner facing down for edge detection, so Misty won't drive off your stairs. On the back, we have a trailer hitch. If, for instance, you wanted to make a delivery trailer, there's a wireless resonance charger, so Misty can just drive onto her charging pad to get power, and a track driving system for ease of navigating over uneven terrain. Now let's power down Misty so we can show you the inside using her power switch under the back of her body. To access the inside of Misty, you can start by removing two screws on the visor and two screws on the top. The top panel then hinges open to find the main brain controller. Speaking of screws, we are careful to only use a couple types and lengths in Misty to make it easier to put her back together. Now that her head is open, you can see the two Snapdragon processors, a 410C running Windows 10 IoT Core, which runs the main app and skills, and an 820 running Android 7, which runs our SLAM and other computer vision algorithms. Here's the audio codec chip, Wi-Fi antennas, power supplies, the LCD controller, and lots of other components. You'll also see connections around the edge that feed down to the real-time controller and the base. Now to access the base of Misty, you'll pop off the bumpers, and remove the 12 screws you'll find hidden underneath. The side panels now slide off. Take out a few more screws and you'll be able to remove the center panels to reveal the battery compartment in the front and the real-time controller and the motor driver boards in the back. If you're curious to know more details or how to access other parts of MISTI, post a message on our community forums at community.mistyrobotics.com.